Hello bees bladers, welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Have you ever seen a petrified fish box that looks like this? I haven't until now, and guess what? We have three petrified fish, we're gonna go through them really quick. So buckle up buttercup, that's all gonna start right now. All three of these knives are fantastic and you know what? If you haven't heard of petrified fish knives yet, you're probably like, petrified what? Anyway, this is the petrified fish stamp. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it and all of its carbon fiber inlayness? And by the way, this carbon fiber inlay is seamless. You cannot feel the where it starts and where it ends. And they have several different colors. We'll get into that here in just a minute. You do have a lanyard hole. And one drawback is that it is not a reversible clip. Now here's a look at your clip. It does have some mushrooms growing in the shade. You have a couple screws there, but at least it is inset into the liners. I haven't had any problems going in and out of the pocket. It's not been grabby. It is a strong pocket clip. And Petrified Fish Knives, typically they are work knife oriented. I'm telling you, that's how they are. And pow, right in the kisser, look at that. This is like a perfect everyday carry work knife. It took me about five seconds to realize that this was a winner without a doubt. I mean, first of all, it has the perfect drop point blade shape. It has a sharpening choil. It has a nice satin finish. You can also get these in a black stone wash if that's your preference. There's five different variants, including Stormtrooper, and it has G10 scales with the carbon fiber inlay. You have a lanyard hole. This one right here, I can tell you right now from the get-go, it has good lockup. It is centered, and guess what? This thing has an excellent, excellent detail. It's drop shutty. I mean, Petrified Fish, they came out of the, came out of the gate making really good, strong work knives. The action on this is superb. The jimping, um, the jimping leaves me wanting. It doesn't really grab my skin like I prefer, and there's not enough of it. Unless I was holding my thumb like this in a vertical position against the cutting plane, it's not gonna really serve me personally a whole lot. This is a nice large size knife. It's eight and a half inches overall, and it has a 3.5 inch sharpen length, so you have I mean, a lot of folks are like, eh, I like a little bigger knife. Well, there you go. We're into that three and a half inch range. It's not the super large with the four inch, but look at this. Here's a look at the satin. Looks so good. Nice and clean. There's not a bunch of branding all over it. Look at that. That is a win. And there's where I've wiped it off with my cloth, but it is, it is super clean. No branding. Very nice looking knife. I like the other color versions of this too. As far as value for a knife that has good fit and finish, good ergos, it has excellent ergos. There, I have no complaints with the ergos whatsoever. Whether the regular grip or the reverse grip, they're both great. And these run around 43, 44 bucks, which I believe is an excellent value for what you get. This is D2 steel. It is not a super thick blade, but it is strong, comes down to a nice tip. You gotta like the tip. So there's the petrified fish stick. Damp. Now this next one, I can't help but like it. I mean, we are bees blades. Does that not look like a big old bumblebee? I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on, come on. Wait till you see the blade on this bad boy. It is wicked. Now this, you do have a place for a lanyard, but once again, another drawback is they do not have a reversible clip. Petrified fish, you need to start putting reversible clips on there. But look at this. This one has a titanium milled clip, which I was, I was like, whoa. You put a milled titanium clip on there. It's uh, pretty impressive. And they kept the price point down. All right, you ready? Uh, look at this. It has a captive pivot, so you don't have any problem with that. You have ceramic ball bearings in the pivot, so you're good on that. And pow, right in the kisser. Look at that. Now that, you talk about a working blade. I told you earlier, they, they just have it nailed down for strong knives that are, you know, they're a little thicker. It gives you more substance, more to hold on to in your hand. This one, the jimping is pretty good, pretty good. And this has a compound grind. It is hollow ground, just barely, but it is technically a hollow ground blade. And I love a compound grind. Look at that. Look at the finish on that bad boy. This is K110 steel. And look at this. The thumb studs, a little, little bit of extra there on the thumb studs and they're ribbed for your pleasure. This has good lock up. You can see right there and it is centered. And boy, you talk about a working, ed working edge and a working tip. This one is not messing around. Another nitpick besides not being reversible is I wish they would put jimping all the way around the flipper tab so I don't get slide offs. But with the light switch, it comes out with a Thor tie. And I mean a Thor tie, it like pulls your hand back like, Pow! It's not messing around. Now, if you're trying something like the push button, 
it's a little slower. It doesn't have the strongest detent. If I'm just pushing on it slow like that, I can open the blade. So if I had my rather, I would rather it have a stronger detent than it does. Now, reverse flick, I can't really get my finger behind there because there's not much room underneath the thumb stud. But regular, oh yeah. Just, just regular flipping it open using the thumb studs. I have great contact with them. Gives me good grip, good snap. So it is very good in that department. And these knives that I'm showing you, Petrified Fish, they send an extra set of body screws. So if you lose a body screw or a pocket clip screw, you're gonna be covered in that area. The Mokado does have good access to the lock bar. It's comfortable, it's not difficult whatsoever to disengage. You know I always appreciate that. I don't have to jam my thumb in there. It is very nice. This one also is drop shutty, just like the last one. Look at that. So nice. So I would say as long as you like doing the typical light switch that you're gonna like this knife because the Ergos, just like the other one, fantastic. They're ni it's nice and thick. It's a thick boy. Fills my hand. If you have extra large hands, this one has got you covered. It's 8.3 inches overall and the blade three and a half inches. The only, the only thing there right, would be that no sharpening choils, so you're gonna get a smile, but I think if this is gonna be your working knife, one thing, it's gonna be easy to find because of the yellow, and another thing is, you're not gonna care. If you're sharpening this up, you're using this for some serious work, or maybe it would be, maybe you're new to the knife community, and this would be your safe queen. You gotta respect everybody and where they are at in their knife journey. These run around 58, 59 bucks, and of course, I will have links to all these knives in the description and in the pinned comment below. Now this one is the one that I was like, whoa, wh what is this? I, I, I didn't even know, I was like, where'd this knife come from? And check this out. This is the first petrified fish I've seen come in a nice pouch. So, oh yeah, they're stepping it up a notch. And in this pouch, you do have your extra hardware. You have the nice cleaning cloth that you get with all these knives I showed you. And you get a petrified fish sticker, which I might as well show you while we're looking at it. Check it out. That's pretty cool. Now let's get this knife out and show you what this one looks like. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Let me know how your day's going. Say hello to everybody. Cheer up other people in the chat just in case they're not. And tell me what kind of knives, what's your newest knives? What knives are you thinking about getting? Are you checking these out? Wh which, one of your, which one of these is your favorite? Now look at this. This is the Petrified Fish Morse. Yeah, as in Morse code. And I have no idea what this says. I tried to decipher it and it was a total fail. So somebody let me know what that says because I do not know. Maybe it's this way because that's the direction of the pivot. But we're getting off track. These come in six different variants. You can get black, red, white, yellow, and you can also get the satin or the stonewashed blade. And before I show you the blade, check this out. We have T8 hardware, which is a major plus. And then we have, yes, 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 Petrified Fish. This is where they stepped it up two more times with the clip. Number one, we have no mushrooms growing in the shade. We have flathead screws, and it's inset into the G10 on both sides. So this is a perfect deep carry clip. You're not gonna have to worry about that whatsoever. Nice and clean, it has a captive pivot. It has the cage ceramic ball bearings. Now, the one thing that's very different about this is the deployment method. I don't know that I've ever seen a top flipper like this, but, but, wait till you see it. The jimping is very good. It's not aggressive, but somehow they have milled it just right so it grabs your skin. See this indentation right here? If you, this is another one of those knives, I tell you, if you're not big on top flippers, this one might change your mind. <laughs> Would you look at that? I mean, just look at it. This is a sleek blade. It reminds me a lot of the Petrified Fish Zero. It's right along those lines. A lot of folks didn't like the branding on the Petrified Fish Zero, but you know, this this is a uh, this was a nice one. It's one that I really like. This one, they've slimmed it down just a little bit. The texture on the G10, here's a little bit of texture vision for you. Look at that. It has spectacular, I mean great, texture. You have grip on this thing for days. Oh yeah, and if I didn't tell you, guess what the blade steel is on this? It's 154 CM, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I love me some 154 CM, and I also love that there is no branding on the blade. Very nice. Ooh, it's so pointy. Oh, it's so pointy. Comes down, I mean, it's a little bit of a splinter getter. It, it will grab and get a splinter out, no problem. This would be great for piercing and slicing. And by the way, the ergos on this thing, 
fantastic. I have zero complaints whatsoever. It is a very good everyday carry knife. Now the jimping up top here doesn't serve any purpose as far as my grip unless I hold it way back here, which I don't typically do, but if you hold your knife back here, it actually does have some grip to it. They just probably should have brought that jimping out to about here to accommodate folks that hold their knife in this fashion. Now this knife overall is 7.7 .7 inches, so you got a little more inch going on there. It's 3.36 inches for your blade. It does not have a sharpening choil, so that would be it. Man, I definitely wish they would have had just a little choil in there, but I do like it. It is very lightweight. It's very easy to operate. It is drop shutty. Now back to this top flipper, which I didn't spend any time on. You can see how easy it is. All you have to do is get your finger up there, your index finger, and wherever you place it, either up here or down here, that jimping grabs your skin and opens it up really easy. You can also front flip it just like, you know, with the regular front flip in action. But I like this. I really want to know y'all's opinion on all the all three of these knives. I want to hear what you think about it. But this one, I'm impressed. 154 CM blade steel. I like it. If you don't want to, a heavy knife in your pocket, this is going to be a good one. Now, left-handed, I can get it. Not quite as well because, well, I'm left -handed, I'm right-handed. <laughs> <laughs> These run around 69, 70 bucks. Of course, I will have links where you can go check them out and get more specs if I didn't give you enough specs. But there is the Petrified Fish Morse, the Petrified Fish Mikado. Oh yeah, it's beefy. And the Petrified Fish Stamp. So you have a, a couple hardcore working knives. This one right here, this one's not messing around. I mean, this one's gonna do some serious work. This one, regular work. This one right here, maybe this is the one you carry in the evening when, you, when you're going out to eat. Or if you don't want a big, bulky, heavy knife in your pocket, this one might fit the bill. So let me know what you think about them. And if you don't have an opinion, let me know what you had for breakfast. But go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you in the Hive stream on Friday nights or at the lives or in the other chats, remember, Live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.